Bible Now with Apostle Guillermo Maldonado. Let's go to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. For he that speaks in own known tongue, speak not unto men, but unto God. For no man understand him, how be in the spirit he speaks mysteries. I'm going to start serious uh, this about the mysteries of tongues. There's something in my latest book on the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And this is one of the chapters. And I want you to open your heart to it. I want you to learn something. And I will reveal some mysteries of tongues. Say with me. Lift your hands and say mysteries of tongues. Okay. To understand and to start the message, let's start defining what is a mystery. If we're going to be speaking about the mysteries of tongues, what is a mystery? Scripturally, and what the Bible says, the word mystery is something difficult to understand, to comprehend, because it's hidden from the natural mind. I'm going to say it again. Mystery is something difficult to understand. And, and when I mention something about tongues, this is something you need to practice every single day. This is my own life. And even Paul says, I speak in tongues more than you, Corinthians. In Corinthians, there were 50,000 people. It was a big church. And then he said, I practice tongues beyond more than you guys. I speak more tongues than you. So when I talk about mysteries, and, and I will go to you in the mysteries of tongues. So the word mystery is something hidden from the natural mind, is hidden from the natural men. In other words, a carnal Christian and a natural man cannot understand what is a mystery. Mystery is not revealed to people that is a natural mindset because the five senses cannot conceive something that is above and beyond reason. I'm going to say it again. The natural, the five senses cannot conceive something that is above and beyond reason. In other words, it's beyond the senses. So the supernatural is always above and beyond the senses. So that's why when a mystery is revealed, if the mind is not open, you will reject it. Because you will say, well, that's not biblical. That's because your mind is not open for that. Unless the Holy Spirit is open it. There's so many Christians and people that they don't know exactly the power and the revelation and the mystery of what is behind tongues. That's what the enemy fights it so much. He fights tongues. Everywhere I see congregation and I know of, of congregations that when people start talking in tongues, they just, they kick them out. Because the devil hates, hates that you know about tongues, what our tongues are. And again, it's one of the basic principles of Christianity in the supernatural. So I want you to open your eyes to see to this hidden mystery. And one of the definitions of the word mystery is the word, is the word retain knowledge. In other words, when, when you know a mystery about something, is retain knowledge from you. So there are three guidelines to know the supernatural. In other words, to see mysteries, there's three guidelines. Number one, the Holy Spirit, the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is leading you and me. Number two, the rema word. And number three, praying in tongues. In other words, those are the three guidelines to access mysteries, supernatural mysteries. In other words, the Holy Spirit, the Rema word, the now word, and constantly praying in the spirit. So we understand then what we all have access to this mystery. You don't have to be an Ephesian. You don't have to be a pastor, teacher, evangelist to understand mysteries. Any believer under, can have the ability to understand, to access mysteries. Because the, well, the moment the Holy Spirit came upon you, you have access to those mysteries. So what is the origin of tongues? Let's go quickly. The origin of tongues. Genesis chapter 11 verse 1. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. They have all one language. 
That's the first reference in the Bible that speaks about tongues. That was the first one. When people spoke, there was not many, there was no English, Spanish, uh, Italian. There were not languages. There was only one language in that time on the earth. Everybody spoke the same language. And then you see, for example, the second time is Genesis chapter 11, verse 6. That was creation. And then you see, and, and behold, the people is one. And they have all one language. And this begin to do. And now nothing will restrain for them which they imagine to do. That was the Tower of Babel. The second reference is in the Tower of Babel. And God says, they say something. The heart of men was evil. And they wanted to do something. want to reach heaven. They wanted to reach heaven. And God says, they, they committed to do something. But what I need to go down and confound their tongues, their languages, is because they united. If unbelievers got together to unite, why believers don't unite? So they were one. They spoke one language. And they said, and, and they, God said, they, what they imagined, they will do. So I need to go down and confound their language. So in that time, that is the origin of all languages and tongues. That's what English came about. That's what Spanish came about. That's what French, Italian, Portuguese, all the languages and tongues of the earth came in that time because God had to confuse them because if they, God didn't, something is going to be happening. Can I hear an amen, people? So that was the second time. So that's what you see. For example, that's the reason the gospel of Christ must be preached in all nations, tribes, races in their language. So the third mention of the word tongues in the Bible is in Acts chapter 1, verse 1. Okay, and they will fill with the Holy Ghost, and they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them what? Utterance. So you saw that this is the third mention of the Bible where they mentioned the word tongues. And this is the reverse of the Tower of Babel. So they, what happened here is people from many nations came to that Feast of Pentecost. And when they came to Pentecost, they heard the 120 speaking in their native language. And they say, wait a minute. These people are speaking our own language. We don't understand how. They never gone to school to learn it. They never studied it. Why, why are they speaking our own language? So that was the preaching of the gospel through this, through the tongues by the Holy Spirit. Can I hear an amen, people? So we understand the three mentions. In creation, in the Tower of Babel, and then in the book of Acts, in the day of Pentecost. So the gospel was preached in that time in their own language. And this is something God is releasing for certain evangelists of the end time. You're going to go to a country. The Lord said to me, they're going to go to a country and you're going to speak and preach in their language. So it's coming that you're going to go preach in that language. Supernaturally, you will know that language. Can I hear an amen, people? So what is the definition of tongues? Let's, let me, let's go to the definition of tongues, where our tongues are. So we understand is a mystery. We must understand the Holy Spirit has to open your eyes to see and to see the blessings, the benefits. What are the benefits of speaking in tongues? Why the church doesn't speak in tongues anymore? They don't sing in tongues anymore. Why? And because the enemy opposes it. The, the enemy doesn't want the power to come into the church. So I want you to know the definition of the word tongues. Lift your hand and say tongues. Okay, so definition of tongues. The word tongues is this. It's a supernatural ability to, to speak a language that you never studied, you never learned, and is unknown to you. Something that your mind cannot recall. In other words, it's not something that you said, oh, let me talk about this language. Because you never studied it. You can. The Holy Spirit cannot remind you something. He said he will remind you. Things that you studied. 
But he cannot rebind your tongues because you never spoke in tongues. So what he's saying is, is the language a supernatural phenomenon. It's not something natural that you learn. We understand the introduction. You understand the mysteries. Now, what are the different kinds of tongues? Let's go to Acts chapter 2, verse 7 and 8. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one another, Behold, they are not all this which speak Galileans. They never gone to school to learn our language. How can they speak our language? So the first kind of language in the Bible is the tongues of men. That's the first one, tongues of men. These are the lowest level of tongues because God speaks to men. All those people in Pentecost, 120, they spoke fluently in the language of the 120 nations that came to receive. It's like me talking over here. I got 120 nations. And me, I speak any language that, that any nation is represented here. And they're going to say, what did he learn that so fluent Hebrew? What did he learn that fluent Chinese? The, um, it's, this is a sign for a non-believer. For example, if I speak in here in tongues and I speak fluent Hebrew, and I have a Hebrew person here. And he will say, wait a minute. How does he know my language? That's a sign to him. Put your hands together, people. So this confound men, and they know they have learned it. In other words, he said, how can he speak my language? He hasn't learned it. So all the gifts of the Spirit are signs. And the gifts of tongues are also signs. Say with me, signs. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 22. And then he said, wherefore tongues are for a sign. These are tongues of men. Where tongues are for a sign, not for the believer. To them that believe not. Why? Because the sign for a believer is prophecy. When I start prophesying something and God start giving me prophecy for somebody here that is a believer, God will reveal the heart of that person. And then God, the person will say, wait a minute, that's for me. That's a believer. But when you see a sign of a tongue of, for man, it's a language, it's a natural language. It's, some, it's the language that somebody knows on the earth. Okay, let me mention something to you. The tongues of angels. The second kinds of tongues are the tongues of angels. Can you lift your hands and say it? Tongues of angels. Come on, tongues of angels. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels. See? Of angels. What does it tell you? Revelation. Write it down. Every time, the Lord said to me, every time you speak in tongues... He said, every time you do, you are releasing angels into the atmosphere. Every time you go, Shatorobosha. In that moment, the Lord said, angels are activated to work. So who are the angels? Those angels are ready to go. He said, when you speak in tongues, my angels are ready to go. When you speak in tongues, you are by the Holy Spirit. You saying and declaring something, and they will do what you declare. Psalms 103.20. I want you to see Psalms 103.20. Bless the Lord, ye his angels. Excel in strength. They're not little weak people. You got strong angels, and they're ready to do. When you go, they say, let me do this. Let me move in your finances. Let me move in your business. Let me move in the case court that you have, court case that you have. Let me move it. Let me do something. Oh, Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. Tongues of men. Different kinds of tongues. Tongues of angels. What do you do when you're speaking tongues? You release angels to work in your favor. Oh, shit. I want my angels to work in my, in my destiny. I want my angels to declare the beginning from the, the end from the beginning. I want my angels to declare. Oh. 
for that the speaking unknown tongue is not a tongue of men it's not a tongues of angels it's unknown tongues speak known unto man <laughs> but unto God Oh, it really bothers me. Somebody told me one day, it bothers me when you speak in tongues. I said, I'm not speaking to you, brother. Somebody have to say amen. I'm not speaking to you, brother. I'm get offended because I don't understand what you say. I'm not speaking to you. I'm a speaking to Haharo Hitra. I'm so to taking. Lift your hands, say shout. I want new tongues. If you're here this morning, you've never been filled and never received the gift of tongues. You've never spoken in other tongues. And you say, Apostle, I want that gift of the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands to Jesus. Oh, Frank, go minister to the people to receive the tongues. Whatever you're watching, the Holy Spirit is coming upon you now. If you've never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, be filled now. I see a woman, you are sitting in a couch. Tears are coming down your eyes. You are being filled with the Holy Spirit now. See young people, young people, they've mocked you in school because you spoke in tongues and you stopped. But the Lord says to you now, speak in tongues like never before and God will speak to you or reveal to you your future you will pray the perfect will of God filled feel now with the Holy Ghost receive it now whatever you're watching receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and those new tongues that you've never spoken before you are praying the perfect will of God receive it now Receive it now. It's upon you. Brata. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Speak. Speak. There you go. La la lo lo. Male bo. There you go. There you go. It's happening. You speaking. You speaking. Your reason is getting on the way. Lamba chichela lo baki lo bocha. But don't worry. You are speaking now. That's the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter what your reason say. Lumbali baki ali boka ali baka alu buka alu bosa. The Lord shows me even people that your calling was held back because you rejected the Holy Spirit. Receive it now. 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 Receive it. It's upon you. There are many mysteries being revealed to you. There's many mysteries and I see in the area of finances that you say, I don't know why I'm going through this. I don't know why I, I see this constant cycle of lack. You that you're watching us online, you see a constant cycle of lack in your finances, poverty. And the Lord says, I am breaking generational curses of poverty in your bloodline. It was a curse. Some of you said, it's not that I've been doing anything wrong or that I haven't been honoring God. It's that there's a curse. There's a generational curse that needs to be uprooted. And there in your house, whatever you've been dealing with, the Lord says uprooted is much more than a simple prayer. It's something that you need to uproot in the spirit. There's many of you that are watching and God is calling you to fast to fast. God is calling you into a fast. If you want to see a change in your business, if you want to see a change in your children, if you want to see a change in your finances, if you're believing for deliverance, if you're believing for something, the Lord is calling you to fast and to pray. I hear the Spirit of God say, combine this praying in the Spirit. Combine it with fasting. Fasting. Fasting and prayer. If you're watching us online, receive that grace right now. Receive that grace to fast and to pray. And there's mysteries that are going to be revealed and there's bondages that are going to be broken. I bless you now. Receive it now. Receive the supernatural grace of God. If you're watching us online and you've never prayed in tongues, right now the Spirit of God is filling you. Filling you. Be filled now with the evidence of speaking in tongues. If you're watching us and you're already praying in tongues, the Spirit of God is giving you new tongues. New tongues. Take them. Take them now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. 
I bless you wherever you're watching us. Everything that is happening here, the angelic activity, the spiritual activity is happening in your house now. Receive it now. We want you to call us if you have any testimonies. If you have any testimonies of this morning's message, we want you to call us and let us know. We bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We love you. You just heard the message, the mysteries of tongues. There's so many things happening in the world today. It is impossible to live in the natural. We must know how to live in the supernatural. One of the quickest way is through praying in tongues. That gets you in the spirit in the moment you start praying. I want you to hear the testimonies that are happening through the call center. That the supernatural power of God is being moved through the through the phone lines. When the Spirit of God, is, as soon as you started the book and the series, we started promoting it through the call center. And a lot of people have been calling because they are hungry for the Spirit of God. They are hungry. They don't know that they could pray in tongues. Or some of them that they used to pray in tongues, they get activated. We get people on the phone that as soon as they start praying in tongues, I don't know where we'll hear like a pop. Like they fell from the from their chair or they fell from the, whatever they are. They start crying. They couldn't. They can't believe what we carry they, they call us and like look listen we want what you guys have when are you guys gonna come and we tell them we might not be oh, there right now but the spirit of God is here if you believe it you can receive it we see healings we have seen people that are resurrecting from the hospital there was this kid that he was in a coma dad and we prayed for him the parents call us back said as soon as you guys pray mm. he came out of the coma two days after there are people lifting up from their wheelchairs. We have this other person that called and said, I haven't been able to walk, I have a huge back pain. I've been stuck to a wheelchair. One of the, one of the agents prayed for them and we were able to hear how the person went, ah! and started just running. The agent was like, run, 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 run. And the lady said, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Come on. I want to speak to those that watch me in television. Those are the testimonies that will happen to you when you call. Those people are anointed to pray for your need. Come on, call us now. Pick up the number. Can you put your hand together? Pick up the number and give us a call right now. In the call center, they're ready to do that. This week a girl called me and she told me that she was feeling discouraged, that she didn't know what to do anymore. She didn't want to go on with God anymore. And I told her part of my testimony. I told her the same thing. And she was set free in that moment. There's people that call in. They, this lady, she was in a coma. And we prayed for her. And a week later, no, I'm sorry, a day later, the, uh, the lady called back and she said that the lady that was in the coma, she was coming back into reactions and everything. Wow. That's incredible. Put your hands together. Those are the people in the call center. Give us a call right now, whatever place you're watching, whatever country, whatever city. Those people are praying. People, a lot of people getting healed, delivered, changed. Can you put your hands together? My friend, if you're watching, you never received Jesus as your personal savior. You know how the scripture says that we all sinners, and the Bible says that the wages, the payment of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. My friend, if you're watching, if you feel sad, dep in depression, you feel lonely, maybe you are sick, maybe you are facing divorce, maybe you have circumstances that are impossible. Jesus is the answer. And somebody said, what can I do? What shall I do to be saved? Repent of all your sins. Whatever country, place, city that you are watching now, do this prayer with me out loud. Repeat after me. Father God, I recognize that I am a sinner. I repent. Say it. Repeat after me. I repent of all my sins. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. I surrender all and I receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Amen and amen. If you did this prayer, can you give us a call? And we welcome you to the family of God. Pick up the phone. Give us a call right now. Let us know that Jesus is the Lord of your life and there's people on the phone waiting for you. God bless you. Today, the criteria for ministry is to uh, graduate from a Bible school 
or to have a basis of knowledge or education. In the Bible, the criteria to be in ministry, to be one of the gospel preachers, you need to be empowered. You need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not an option. The Holy Spirit is a necessity and is a command. Jesus said, don't ever go out from here until you be empowered with the Holy Ghost. To be healed, to be delivered, to be changed, to be transformed, all human needs require a move of the Holy Spirit. Supernatural encounters are sweeping the nations, impacting lives with miracles, deliverance, and salvation. Our partners support medical outreaches, feeding the hungry, clothing the poor, and caring for those in desperate need. Through TV, radio, and social media broadcasts, over one billion people are being impacted by the supernatural power of God. You see a lot of kids now receiving toys, food. This is what I want you to see where your seed is going. So thank you very much for your support. These children would have no one to minister the love of God to them if it wasn't for this ministry. Thank you for supporting us. Que Dios los bendiga. Call 877-286-5585 or register online at kingjesusministry.org. Welcome to KingJesus.tv, the new way for you to access the supernatural anywhere. You'll be able to watch your favorite preachings, worship, conferences, and original programming as many times as you like and be continually renewed by the power and presence of God. Whether it's in your home, on your TV, on your computer, on the go, or on your favorite mobile device, there's a subscription plan for everyone. KingJesus.tv is your all-access pass to receive the supernatural revelation you want, when you want it, on virtually any device connected to the internet. You can choose the plan that best fits you and upgrade at any time. Sign up for your free plan today and start watching. This program is paid for by the friends and partners of Apostle Guillermo Maldonado and King Jesus International Ministry.